Hi, hi, Jake Steve here, the long-haired freaky dude. Today I'm reviewing Ajax, the ancient Grecian tragedy by Sophocles, translated into English prose by Richard C. Jebb. If you've read Homer's Iliad or you have a bottle of dish soap on your kitchen sink, then you've most likely heard the legends of the buff and heroic Ajax, one of the greatest Achaean warriors during the Trojan War. This play takes place betwixt the events of the Iliad and the Odyssey. Right after Achilles is shot in the heel and killed by Paris's arrow. <laughs> Of all the themes we encounter in ancient Greece tragedies, the themes of Ajax are perhaps the most transcendable to our time. The most relatable, the most understandable. As to where most tragedies tend to deal with fate, fulfilling prophecies, or burial rites. Things most likely not a part of our daily lives today in the modern world. Things which might seem silly lest one forgets to put themselves in ancient greasy shoes. Uh, but I've seen Ajax essentially as a tragedy about bullying. Perhaps I'm stretching it there, but uh, following the death of a comrade, especially a tremendously heroic one such as Achilles, it was a custom to award the armor of that fallen warrior to another noble warrior. Typically one of the men who were part of the mission to retrieve the fallen soldier's dead body. Ajax and Odysseus were comprised of that crew. Nonetheless, Ajax was prepared to receive the armor. He was certain that he was going to receive it over Odysseus. I mean, have you read the Iliad? He had the right to think so. He was a badass dude. Described as the strongest of all the Achaean soldiers. No, I'm not talking about Ajax's friend Ajax. I'm talking about Ajax. Ajax the Greater. I feel sorry for the other Ajax. I mean, how would you feel if you were named the Lesser? But to his great despair, the armor is instead awarded to Odysseus. Extremely shamed and disgraced by not receiving this award, he sets out to kill the leaders who did this to him. Odysseus and the Atridae, the brothers Agamemnon and Menelaus. But in a rather comical scene, Athena deceives Ajax into thinking that a few livestock are the men who he wants to kill. He ends up murdering and torturing these poor livestock, thinking that they were his enemies. Everyone sees this spout of rage, and once Ajax realizes that he's been fooled, he is once again shamed. He's hurt that the gods would do this to him, and he thinks that everyone is laughing at him to be a fool. They mock him for what he's done. Heck, I mock him for what he's done. But essentially, he's bullied. Poor big Ajax has been bullied. And he's so hurt by this bullying of his comrades that he kills himself by falling on his own sword. I make fun of it, but really, it is sad and tragic, especially in a world where people still do take their lives due to similar bullying. But nonetheless, it is kind of funny and ironic seeing the toughest man of all of the Achaeans have a broken heart over not receiving a shield. A shield? Really? You need to sort out your priorities, man. Well, it might take some effort to realize while Ajax was so angry and crushed by not receiving this armor. Once again, put yourself in ancient greasy shoes. It's not hard to see that the tragedy is being bullied into suicide. So, naturally, the ending of this play deals with, yes, my friends, burial rites. That theme of ancient Greek tragedies, which we all love. Yay! I feel like I might have said too much by revealing Ajax's suicide, but it's foreshadowed from the very beginning anyway and is, I believe, essential to reviewing this tragedy. But I will refrain from revealing the suspense, which is burial rites. Oh boy. In the end scene, we get a lot of dialogue from Odysseus, and this really reveals his character. This is a character which at least wasn't emphasized in the Odyssey. He just says some incredible words of wisdom, which makes me love him all the more. In the Odyssey, you get these heroic and clever bits of wisdom, but not these moral bits of wisdom, which we see in this tragedy. You know, if the Odyssey wasn't already enough to make us just love him to death, we have this tragedy. Truly a great leader. So here's some quotes from Odysseus uh, that I liked during this play. This is not nearly all of them. I liked nearly all of his dialogue, but these are the big ones. The victory is thine when thou yieldest to thou friends. 
Full many are friends at one time, and foes anon. For whom should I work rather than myself? In no wise let violence prevail with these to hate so utterly, that thou shouldst trample justice underfoot. For all that was such toward me, never would I requite him with indignity. Delight not in the gains of solely honor. His entire presence in this play, which is granted a short time, is incredible. He's such a very moving character for the little role he has. He's such a prominent character for the little role he has. A very noble, a very just, and very moral figure, especially for the time. Heck, I think he might be more just and moral than some of the gods. So my questions to you are, what does it mean to honorably hate? And what does it look like honorably hating someone? Ajax ultimately killed himself because he didn't get the armor of Achilles. What ancient Greece customs played a role in contriving the shame? And if you were Athena, what clever trick would you pull to prevent Ajax from killing the other three? Be creative! Can you top disguising them as livestock? Well, I'm Jakey Steve, the long-haired freaky dude. I thank you for watching this video. If reading books like this are your cup of tea, then might I suggest taking the Great Books Challenge. It is something that you will definitely love. If you like this video, be sure to hit that awesome thumbs up button down below. And if you want to see more book reviews, cooking tutorials, or headbanging the classical music, then might I suggest checking out my channel and hitting the subscribe button. Well, that's all for today, guys. See y'all in the next video. Today I'm reviewing Ajax, the ancient Grecian tragedy by Sophocles, translated into English prose. Look at that big puffy face. Oh, it's a moto. Here's a voodoo bear. Oh, I love you guys. Oh, I love my puppies. My puppies are the sweetest things.